distant engineers who were older than me and been there years, they didn't want to work with public image because of Johnny Rotten had been obnoxious, I think was the word. He'd been obnoxious to them and had upset them and there was rumours that he had pissed on the desk and that he kept spitting uh, at the speakers and so all this wrong. stuff. And I, I don't know if it's true, but anyway. I, on the other hand, was like, I want to do it. I was a huge fan. So I got put on the session and I was told it was just mixing. Uh, and so on the day, John turns up with his orange spiky hair, his tartan suit, looking exactly like Sex Pistols Johnny Run, right? And and this uh, Jamaican mix engineer who wasn't Jamaican, he was definitely not Jamaican, he was every English guy who had dreadlocks, he had a Jamaican accent. I can't remember his name, I wish I knew who he was. But anyway, he turned up and he was definitely high. And anyway, he sat down, the tape went on, and they started mixing, and this guy, he wasn't used to this desk, which was a very early um, prototype for the SSL desk, which became very popular later on in the 80s. And he kept going for the knobs, you know, to put echo and stuff. And they didn't, it didn't work uh, for him. So he was like, hey man, what's going on here that this doesn't work? So I get up from my high chair at the back and I go up and I go, no, you, you pull the knob up and you turn it. They turn, it won't work until you pull it up because it clicks. That's the switch. And he goes, all right, man, I got it. So I go back and then you go over and blah, blah, blah. And five minutes later, you say, hey man, what's going on? This, the, none of this works. This one's got a problem. So I get up and go. I said, no, it's the same. They're all the same. See, like, very spinal tap kind of thing. Like, it goes to 11, and that one goes to 11 as well. They pull this up, and, take, and then it works. All right, I got it, man, I got it. So you go back, and then again, happens again. And, and uh, this time, I go up, and, and John, for the first time, actually acknowledges that I'm in the room. And goes, here, yeah, what's your name? I go, it's Nick, and he said, well, Nick, get your fucking chair and put it up near the desk, because you're going backwards and forwards like fucking yo-yo, and you're making me dizzy. <laughs> and I was like, jeez. So I got my chair, so imagine a high chair, and then the Jamaican guy's a, a normal chair, and every time, <laughs> every time he, he couldn't get it to work, I would reach over and go, it goes like this, and turn that way. So this went on for about, like, I don't know, half an hour, and then the engineer got got up to go and have a piss. So he leaves the room. John gets up for the first time all day, and he uh, gets up and locks the door. And he looks at me. He says, "All right, you know what you're doing. Get in the big boy's chair. Make it sound good." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" <laughs> so I moved over to the chair and. It, it, it's sort of like the moment just took over because I had been sitting there quietly thinking of all these ideas about how the song should sound, what what could be done because it was a reggae song and I thought well the bass needs to be added more bass like make it and the hi hat needs to be more you know all this stuff so I started doing it and I was in my it, it, I just was in that moment and I just did it. And I, then I suddenly thought, what the fuck am I doing? I, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I've been told many times, you're not to go near the desk. You've got to sit back there and shut up. So I look at John and he goes, he goes what's the matter? I go, well, I'm, I'm an assistant. Uh, I'm, I'm supposed to not touch this and I'm messing Don't up. He's changing everything for the engineer. He says, he, he says, you've done more in the last 10 minutes and he's done all fucking day. <laughs> He said, go on, carry on. And I thought, okay. So I carry on, then <laughs> on the door. And I get up to it, open it. He says, no, no, no. He said, leave, leave it. And I, so I carry on. And then sure enough, the phone rings, right? So I pick up the phone and go, hello. And he goes, hey man, the door is locked. You know, he says, uh, can you unlock the door? As we're coming? And, he, and John goes, uh, is that him? And I go, yeah, he says, give it here. He takes the phone and he goes, hello, can I help you? 
and, uh, and the guy says, Jan, the door is locked. I can't get in. And he says, yeah, well, we're making music in here, which is more than you fucking know how to do, so fuck off home. <laughs> so 